Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I have the G.I. Joe Duke here. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, here's the side, here's the back, the other side. Fourth for, uh, figure in the line, front, and DCPI. Uh, and yeah, let's crack this thing open. All right, here he is out of the packaging. He looks really cool. So let's go over his accessories. So he comes with this backpack, it has a shovel. Uh, it has some like sculpting details, but I think they could add a little more um, painting details for the bag. And then he comes with a SMG, or I think that's what this is. Um, and I like and this looks really cool. It has mag grip, different type of barrel, and then the sight, and then really good paint throughout and then good sculpting, it's really cool. And then he comes with this like little, uh, I think that's, uh, yeah, like binoculars or night vision things. I'm guessing they're binoculars, here you go. But yeah, besides that, it's just all gray. It has a little piece right here that you just plug in. I'll show you where that goes. And he comes with this pistol, really cool. I'll show you where to put them. So this obviously goes in the back because it's a backpack. Just like that right there. And then this, since it has that little port, it goes on this belt right here, just like that. So you just port it in like that stays there. And obviously his pistol will go in this holster and then you'll just have him holding this SMG. But besides that, that's really it. But let's go over his like little details. This guy looks pretty cool. I like the I like the face sculpt that they got here. It's pretty cool. Just like that. Nice blonde hair. Nice little scar across the face here. Um, the shirt looks good. They probably could have done a little more like bolt like like wrinkles throughout the elbow area maybe and then it kind of looks like one of those uniforms they just wear when you're in the army or something like a little elbow pad right here none on that side pants look good just regular camouflage color and then the straps green belts green with some little metal details and blue lights it looks like uh, holster just green and then the shin guards and knee pads look really cool metallic and then metallic like goldish right here gray some gold on the knee pads too and then silver and then the boots look good straps for the knee pad I mean shin guards and yeah let's go over his articulation so his oops let me zoom out just a little bit so his head or so his head has a ball peg or ball joint here so he moves down that much up that much and then he also has another neck joint at the bottom of the neck so you get that go down like that and up pretty much neutral and then all together you can get him to go up all the way down like that and then basically just like how it was before his shoulders move out up almost 90 degrees. He has like a little butterfly joint, it looks like. You can't really do much with it though. And there we go. You can get, get it and move back just a little bit. And then he has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, wrist can hinge to the sides again, just like that. 360 rotation. I forgot the details on the gloves and wristbands, but just orange and then some red um, knuckle guards there. 
and then his, he has an ab crunch. He can get him to move down that far, backwards that much, and then I think he has a ball joint at the waist. Yeah, he does. So you can get him to move down that much, and then back pretty far, and then side to side motion a little bit there, a little bit here, and then he has the drop down um, hips just like that. So if you don't move those down, you can just kick out that far. But when you move it down like that, you get him to kick out almost 90 degrees. And then he has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. There we go. He has a boot swivel. The, uh, the shin guards go with it too. And it looks like, a, yeah, it's very soft plastic too. So if you want, I'm not gonna take it off, but if you do, you're probably gonna damage the figure. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up not much because the shin guard's getting away, and then ankle pivot. And yeah, really cool figure. Um, but yeah, I just missed those little details. Those look cool, like gloves with that little um, guards there. But, He's a really cool figure with a bunch of really cool accessories. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start collecting all the G.I. Joe figures too. And yeah, he's a really good figure. I would recommend getting him. Uh, he's not gonna be as rare as, I know, Snake Eyes and if, yeah, a few others. I still need to get a hang of trying to figure out who's who in the, like, G.I. Joe um, franchise and stuff like that. But this guy has a lot more articulation. He has a lot of really cool, um, a lot of cool little details and sculpts throughout the figure. So I would recommend getting them. Um, but yeah, besides that, that's all I've got. For guess that figure, shout out go, uh, for guessing Duke. Um, and guessing it correctly goes to Puffa Customs. He does really cool photos with Lego and figures. And then here's the next guess the figure. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.